Hey, am I stable? Like, I'm out in the middle of nowhere where the van uh, fired up and drove off to, but can y'all hear me okay right now? Absolutely. Go ahead. This is all you, sir. <laughs> so, uh, we came over here to show some up-close details on the van, but sorry about the wind muff that's uh, sort of hanging down in front of everything. I push it with my phone there, but I don't think I can keep it out of the way completely. Ah, there you go. See, that's you, chat. Look. Uh, so, I thought that people might want to see some close-ups of the van that fired up without issue and drove away from the launch pad, or from, from the danger side, I guess. Over here on the side, so this was the side that was actually facing the uh, the rocket, right? This was the part that was facing the pad. And you can see there are no windows on the side at all. That was sort of expected. We thought that there'd be some window things from sound or debris or something like that, right? But uh, the sound is what it is when all that came off. We also took a pretty chunky hit right here. Like we noticed, noticed this in the uh, the further away shots that the reflection or the light wasn't quite right. And uh, yeah, it, it took a little bit of a hit there. The tires are all still inflated, which was nice. There's actually uh, quite a bit of glass inside of the van right now. Um, there is another chunky hit down on the bottom, down this way. And again, I, I know that my uh, my audio is going to be a little delayed here, a little ahead actually, but I'm just going to continue walking around. Is this working, Sawyer? Like, can y'all see it okay? Absolutely, it's coming through yeah. beautifully clear. Okay, neat, neat. Uh, so here's another hit. Took a hit here. Took a chunky hit down here in the bumper. It actually looks like it may have, uh, if not gone all the way through, like pierced to the bumper plastic at least. Again, all the windows are done. It, it, the, the, the joke, right? The joke was that we cracked these windows because we wanted some airflow for the gear inside. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think Super Heavy and 33 Raptors, or some number of Raptors, helped us out with that uh, in terms of airflow in the van. We removed all the equipment from the top of it, right? So not safe to drive it down the road with the antennas and the cameras and stuff like that on top. But uh, we removed all that except that one antenna. The solar panel is up there. I'll see if I can get on the top in a second, but let's look inside of it, right? And we've removed the batteries and the gear from the inside. And you'll have to tell me if I start to get pixelated here, because I am. I just took a pack out from the middle of nowhere. Um, you okay. can scan a little pixelated. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a little pixelated. I probably got too close to the van, so I'll have to pack up. But uh, we took all the equipment, the batteries and stuff. Everything inside of the van was fine. The batteries were fine. The solar charger was fine. Like, all the telemetry was fine. The router was fine. Everything on the inside, the microphone encoder was fine. Uh, there was even a Life you solo that was right here next to this tire, and the solo was still online responding just fine whenever we uh, got to the van. But the, oh, the, the insides are all cleaned out now, right? We took that out. There's some actually chunks, and some of those, some of that asphalt was there before, and I think some of the chunks of concrete there were inserted by the rocket. Uh, you can see all the debris down that way that was inserted by the rocket for sure. And then parts of the mechanism which used to perhaps lock and unlock the door are in there as well. Uh, anyways, so of course the big thing that everyone saw, what's that part? As I come around the backside right there, you can see the massive hit that the van actually took uh, a unknown sized piece of concrete traveling somewhere south of the speed of light, it seems. And that was that big first hit that definitely caused a, uh, a little fender bender. A little concrete on van action there. <laughs> and it's just totally caved in. It's just, it's toast. Now, when it got hit there, the stuff was still on the roof because the roof stuff was on a roof rail. And the stuff on the roof also got absolutely nailed. I'll see if I can get over there in a second. But uh, needless to say, the door doesn't really open anymore. I tried, and uh, it doesn't open. I think there's a slight problem with the alignment of the hinges or something. Uh, the cable was closed. Oops, I mean, your audio's going real robot here, Dustin. The video's still good, but your audio's going yeah. real robot. It's because I, I walked around the van. Yep, let me get back out in the open again. Again, yeah. I, I set this up in a hurry trying to catch y'all while you were live. Are we good now? It's literally because I stepped behind the van and blocked my signal from Port Isabel. Uh, so this is the big deal. Like, 
it got hit. It really got hit. Wow. This window, of course, uh, since the hole that the window was covering is no longer the shape of the window anymore, uh, the window broke out there. But I want to show you all something. Hang on. And I'm, I'm juggling a lot of stuff here, but let me see if I can get this over to my hand. All right, sorry. Y'all can see my shadow there. I'm like single-handedly. Here we go. Okay. So check this out, right? The door. Good to go. <laughs> wow. The door still opens somehow. I'm not even sure how that happened. 